Hey everybody, we're gonna do a little bit of fun and excitement here. Here we go. Uh, there's demo not this little guy. And, uh, well, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Saw that one off, no problem. Uh, just dribble a little bit of rusty water. There we go. No worries. And, uh, so the solenoid was closed, so I was keeping the water back. And this ball valve was closed, and I had no reason to suspect it was bad, and so then I cut on the other side of the union there, and it was spraying water everywhere. So, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back and put a new ball valve in there. But, uh, point being is, I should have been a good engineer, crack that union loose and see if there's pressure, but I was being a kid with a sawzall, so that's what happened. But uh, no big deal. Fortunately, our uh, our gate valve over here shut off, so got lucky. Scrap that later. So uh, put the shiny new bolt valve in there. Okay, so we got the jet sweat to the rescue again. Our the gate valve shut off enough to shut the to uh, you know stop our emergency, but uh, uh, not shutting off to let me, to let me new uh, solder new. Valve on there, so this out and see that no no more drips now. I'm just gonna water up real. Before we get too ahead of ourselves installing new stuff in here, uh, we want to clean up our uh, plumbing situation. Um, <coughs> this line, I have no idea where it goes. It just goes into the ground and disappears. Uh, like I said, the hospital and this building were connected before. Just like that one going is obviously going over to the hospital. Uh, that's on a backflow outside. So I'm going to cut that all out. That's some nice scrap right there. Cut back flow out too. Solder a cap right there and everything else goes with me or goes to my scrap pile. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna put a ball valve in here just to be sure. Uh, I could probably demo it and cut it out and cap it, but uh, just in case uh, it's the irrigation line or something silly like that, uh, I don't 
No, that's on a separate back pole. It couldn't be. But uh, since I don't, don't know for sure, I'm going to put a ball valve right there so we can shut it off and water's not live down there. So, um, And then I'm going to take this water softener out of the loop. So I'm going to cut it right here and right here uh, or right here and right here, actually, and just put a cap on each of those. Uh, that's going to stay. That's just a... That's the bypass for the water softener. It's going to take the water softener out. Um, I'm going to replace this ball valve. And I'm going to replace this ball valve. And then that will... Uh, that will shut us off everywhere. Uh, I really would like to see an inch and a quarter ball valve. That will have to come later though. I'd like to have an inch and a quarter ball valve to shut everything off. One main isolation valve. And this is a uh, makeup for our condenser water loop. It goes over there and goes through some regulators. And uh, on a side note, we have that yeah, old uh, regulator over there that's bad too. So right now we have city pressure, uh, which is not really, not really great to have city pressure going, making up your, what is a 12 PSI system, but uh, so we're gonna have to do that. I bought a water test pressure test gauge to so we can verify because this TMP has been replaced before. So I'm pretty sure it's the regulator that's bad now. Um, so all that and more soon enough. Okay, everybody. Um, we got most of the plumbing done yesterday. Uh, had to disconnect this little uh, drain line here to be able to do it. So couple that back together, couple that back together uh, to get these sawed off put a cap on. So I got those caps on. It's all pressured up. It's all good. Um, got this guy in. Uh, didn't quite get it straight. Don't want to talk about that. But, uh, it's good to see. Uh, that valve's good. Uh, but this elbow it's got a little leak right there. On that chair, there was a little water dripping and I thought I could do it quick enough. But I didn't get the warm fuzzies when I was doing it. But it held yesterday, but I came in this morning yesterday. So, um, because there's obviously that valve not shutting off, it was actually the condenser water, uh, that check valve has failed. So that needs to be replaced also, along with the regulator. Um, that check valve has failed, so it was dripping, and this ball valve apparently is one of those ball valves that doesn't shut off either. So really, we just need to rework that whole manifold over there, is what it seems like to me. But, uh, so I, I couldn't get it to stop dripping while I was soldering, and uh, I should have done this in the first place, but uh, here's how you fix that. Uh, that is with a elbow, and a female adapter, and your one inch jet sweat. I'm gonna sweat these parts together right here, uh, just like that. Uh, I'm gonna put my jet sweat up into there, because uh, the drips are coming from, from up, up high. Obviously, I got this valve here, it's good. Um, so I'm gonna cut the elbow in half, unsweat the halves, um, you know, grab them with my pliers or whatever. Then I put that guy up in there, put the jet sweat in there, solder it all up, um, and then I've got a one inch pipe plug for this. And that's how you fix a uh, leaking elbow with your jet sweat. And then I got my jet sweat kit over here. Right on. Okay, so uh, we'll do that. And that'll be that. Um,
all of my houses. Houses are handy. Looks good to me. We had a bit of fun today. Um, I'm gonna call it wrapped up for now. Uh, we'll see what the what the other guys have to say. Maybe we'll need to add something still, but I think we got it. So we got our uh, new shot off there. Our uh, this is our makeup water condenser loop. Our condenser loop makeup water shut off goes over to there. Um, ended up putting this valve in here. Uh, just because this check valve is bad, like I said, we need to rebuild that whole manifold. Um, you know, need a new regulator. Wait until uh, get some more hands for that though, because we gotta take the whole thing down. But uh, so I put that valve in there just so I could uh, stop it dripping back, so I could sweat that in. Um, then uh, this is gonna be our boiler makeup water. Our new boiler is gonna sit right here. Our boiler makeup water is going to be off of this little nail adapter, and we'll have a hose bit here. Um, uh, got our water softener out of there. I'm going to take this outside, actually. Get it out of the way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, everything's looking good. Uh, ready for... Yeah, ready for some... Ready to rock and roll with some new stuff, so... Uh, that'll be it for today, and uh, next video should be should be after we got something new installed. So, all right, thanks for watching.